Hello, welcome to Just Bird Throw. Today's reading is for Ms. Giselle Bunchen. Ms. Mrs. Brady? Ex Tom Brady? <laughs> this is the reading for her. All right. So this was a request. Now let's just get right into the reading, but stay tuned to the end to listen to her conspiracy and the, her healing cards. They could also have a lot of information for your own self. All right. So let's just get into the read. In her first house, this is a 12 card astrological spread. And her first house is dealing with her self image and her ego. So what do I have here is welcoming the new. So we have welcome the new and curiosity. So she's looking, she's seeking, and she's just embracing this new chapter in her life. I, I, you know, it's pretty simple. She feels new that this is a new chapter. She feels like she's spreading her wings and she is curious. She's looking um, toward her future. She's curious about what's around the corner, what's to come. So she's looking into it. All right. Now, <laughs> I'll just get right into these. We have grief, compassion, and longing. So I would say that she's grieving, you know, the last chapter in life as she's embracing the new. And, um, but she still longs for something and it could be longing for something from the past. She's, people are very supportive of her and their, her friends are there for her during 2023. And she's a very giving person by nature, but I feel that this is her time of actually receiving more than give, 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 give. And there's something that she's longing for. And we have a dream of lost time as on the board. So there's something, and it could be these memories of Tom, as there is a picture of somebody on the nightstand. And the, the nostalgia card lets me know that it's a thing of the past and she's missing someone in the sack. So I'm going to say it's Tom. <laughs> okay. I'm going with that. I'm going to stand strong. They had a very long marriage and a respectful, amicable divorce. At least it appears that way. And even divorce under the best of circumstances is not a good circumstance to have to go through. And it's a process. So she's getting through the process. And we have sorrowful, heartbroken, and bereaved. So she's sad. We have compassionate, empathetic, caring, and sympathetic. She's caring for herself, but others, she has a lot of support around her. So others are there for her too, like really um, good people. And we have longing, yearning, wistful, and homesick. Giselle misses Tom or the way things were. It's just a feeling, folks. It doesn't mean that there's a renewal or regeneration of a relationship. It just means that she misses Tom in a lot of ways. She misses Tom. Or at least the idea of what was. Now, in her current economic affairs, she is flirting with something, relationship dynamics. She may be flirting literally with someone, but this could be like a dating game that could bring profit or maybe like a hot topic where 
you know, some kind of dialogue, something re- dealing with relationships and, you know, get maybe getting back out there. Maybe there's an interview that, that she would be paid for that would produce something. But she's flirting with new ideas and not just relationships as far as romantical and flirty ones, but flirting with new ideas of how to make money and the new dynamics of her finances, given that she is um, single, right? She has a lot of boatload of money. She doesn't, you know, she, she on her own, she doesn't need any Tom Brady money or anything like that. Anyhow, <laughs> In her future finance, we have body changes and egg on her face. Somebody laughs at her. It's like it's a joke. Um, she could be humiliated by, like, or embarrassed by some kind of financial change or change in what she's doing for work. Um, however, I'm going to take this as, like, she was a model. I don't know if she's, I mean, I think once you're a model, you're always a model. I don't know if she's still a practicing working model or what. I don't know what she does for um, career right now. Uh, but there's, if she could be just be embarrassed about her shape, I'm going to say that it's it really is her physical body that is holding her back financially she's embarrassed by her shape which would affect her finances because of the her body is kind of a part of her brand um i don't i don't know I'll get back to that. I'll throw tarot on it. Well, let me just throw tarot on it right now. What is this mishap about and the body changes? It just feels that she's going, like, getting older, and that's why she's flirting with ideas, new ways to make money, because she could be a little embarrassed that her body's changed. Um, she doesn't want to reveal it or that she might fall on the stage, you know, just some fear moving forward as far as what she's always done to where she's moving toward what she's moving toward what can bring her um growth what is this about in her sixth house happiness she says growing this is abundance it's weight gain but this is also about you know happiness this is great for finances because she's gr going to grow her finances. Financially, she's fine. There's healing. There's a healing going on here. Um, okay. There's a possibility on this board for a baby. Now, I'm, I'm just I, as I go through, I'll explain it. But her age, what is she, 42? And she's just remembering things. So her finances are fine, abundance and growth, and this is, you know, wonderful here. But as far as the body changes, if it's a physical body thing, it's she feels like she's grown, <laughs> but that's baby energy. She embarrassed because she, she has stretch marks, or is she pregnant? I don't know. I'll show you in as I go. There's another house well not house but cards that indicate possible baby energy i'm just curious let's see she's not getting any she's afraid that she's not getting any offers or not taking any offers because she's embarrassed by what she looks like like, but not what she looks like. I'm sure she knows she's a beautiful creature, but um, she's embarrassed by some form of body changes, and it hinders like her fine her career. But this could also be about um, talking about family and pregnancies and um, making decisions and meditation. Maybe stretching the, the body. 
I'm just going to leave it at that. She's embarrassed by the by her shape, her form, her body changes. It hinders her finances. Even though she has abundance, she's healing. She's like healing. And she's more reserved now and withdrawn. Where before, I don't, I don't know her personality. <laughs> you know, like if she's an outgoing kind of personality, just because she was a model doesn't really give me any indication of her true character. That's what she did for a job. You know, she was good at it. Um, so that doesn't really give me much about character of who she is. So what she's speaking. And talking about is retirement and a change of mind. Is she out here? I did just see the the article where she um, basically uh, it said something about like Tom Brady officially retired a year after not retiring after he said he was retiring or whatever it was. Like he re re he re retired. <laughs> so he's out of the game. I, I don't know if this is her talking about his retirement and him having a change of mind or that due to the retirement, she's had a change of mind or that she's changed her mind about giving herself a rest and maybe she wants to still work. You know what I mean? So maybe she doesn't want to retire. Maybe everything is not about Tom since they're divorced. You know, and this is her reading. But she could be talking about Tom. I just read it. And that's funny that that comes up. But the, uh, this also speaks to her talking about changing her mind about, you know, taking a break. Retirement. Giving it up. She's going to talk about it. But she also could, you know, due to her life, this could also indicate the changes in um, with Tom. You know, she supports Tom. She doesn't have anything against Tom, but she's just not involved in any of his decisions. Whatever's good for him, she's great with it. But she misses him. Now, I'm just going to tell you that everything that I say here is fictional. There's no facts. Um, it's a story and a picture card. So, you know, this is all gossip and uh, there's nothing factual about this, okay? So don't get butt hurt over I'm just telling a story. Um, we'll see if my stories come to light in the future. Right now, Brian, Brian, <laughs> Ryan Upchurch stories. Wow, that one is ooh, a lot, a lot, a lot. But anyhow, as far as Giselle is concerned, what she's speaking in to existence you know what she's manifesting is into her reality is the courage so she has the strength to reflect back on what she's talking about is if she's talking about tom and the retirement she has the courage to talk about it we have life reflected through art so whatever her art is um She's she has the courage. She's building the courage to do it because she's changing her mind. She's going back to work because look, she's changing her mind about retirement and what she manifests is the courage to get like back on stage. You go, girl. You go. Good for you. Good for you. Um. Oh, do you hear my belly growling? <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, social standing. This is how others view her. So we have motivation and the worst is over recovery. So they see that she's she's in the healing mode that like, you know, the worst of it's over. She's out of the dark period, you know, any form, any, you know, the initial phases and stages that one goes through. So they're like, all right, she's motivated She's amped about something, you know, and th things are looking. So they're viewing her as like they're look as her life as is looking good, looking up, looking better. And that it's her time, you know, as far as her her home, she has support and and retirement. <laughs> OK, time for a rest. Who's telling her that? That, you know, take a break and we, I got you. I'll take care of the house. Don't worry about it. You know, what's going on? Because she's changing her mind. She's talking about changing her mind. 
and now we have support in retirement. Don't worry, I'll take care of you. I'll be home. Is Tom trying to come back? Well, whatever. She's going to talk about it. I think she's going back to work. This is her reading, but I mean, she really misses Tom. In her fifth house, we have realizations and epiphanies, like these aha moments, a dream of lost time. So her SEX is a thing of the past. She misses Tom. And I think if, if this was an issue... Um, it could be, it's just, I don't know, like this realization, I, I miss what we had and whatever it is concerning this house of entertainment, luck and SEX life. <laughs> okay. Um, she misses it. And there's something that is coming to light for her, you know, that it's like that it wasn't, the grass wasn't greener. Basically, I really miss you. I yearn. I yearn for you. I miss you. Doesn't mean anything. It's just a feeling. Doesn't mean it's fact. Doesn't mean that you, just because you feel it doesn't mean you're going to act on it. Uh, it's part of the process. Part of the process. But is Tom coming back into the house to say, hey, I'm here. I'll take care of things. You go ahead. Get back on stage, girl. I got this. It's your turn. Even like her friends. We have volunteer. And acceptance. Come what may. So they're just kind of like, do whatever you want. You know, even if you're not making money at it, go do what you want. Maybe she's going to put on a show or something. I don't know. What is Giselle doing as far as her career? But her friends are just like, come whatever. They just, whatever comes, but, you know, be free and not, just go with it. Doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter if there's money involved or anything. Go for it. And as far as her enemies in her 12th house, even her enemies are sorry. They're having a hard time facing her. And even though she, they see, they're sorry that she having a hard time moving on or facing tomorrow, or if that's some kind of rhetoric that they spoke to her or said about her, whatever her enemy is, um, they're in need of forgiveness and they have a hard time looking themselves in the mirror. So her enemies are sorry. Uh, that's, well, so I would say that even her enemies are not enemies. It's just a fallout, you know, and they're struggling. Yeah, they're sorry. All right. Okay, this is a this is weird. <laughs> I wish I knew more about Giselle, but moving into her seventh house of marriage and relationships we have self-care join or be joined is she taking her care of herself and then what's the join or be joined about the induction is tom coming home i'm curious like i'm back <laughs> you know i'm back you go ahead and go to work. I got this. Join or be joined. I would say if you're not, I don't know. 
But she's too busy taking care of herself. She may be taking care of, like, you know, going to functions. And she's just kind of, like, surrounding herself around other people. Not this is group affairs are not, like, relationships as far as marriage, you know. So this looks like she's just surrounding herself with others. And she may be joining things that are to take care of herself, like meditation groups, um, any anything art classes i don't know i don't know what people do you know i don't know her life but what i pulled as far as her um my sweet romance deck oracle is <laughs> the baby bump is she feeling big is she getting pregnant is there a baby involved does like why are we taking care of herself join or so you're alone and pregnant how old are their children? She's what, 42. Still not too old to get pregnant, but I it's a I don't see that going on. So is this like just that weight gain that she's kind of I don't know, embarrassed or is this talking about, you know what? I'm birthing a new idea. I'm not sure. We'll see. We have fun times with friends. See, she's just hanging out with friends. These are friendly relationships. Is she helping a friend who had a baby? I don't know. Are her friends helping her? I don't know. And the gift. So she's receiving gifts from friends. And I, I, you tell me what is this about. I have no idea. I'm just, I'm just saying it's a possibility. But it could also be that she's helping a friend who's pregnant. You know, um, we have seeking and finding. Um, this is her eighth house of herself, her subconscious. So what we have is a new direction, promise and potential. This is she subconsciously she knows she's getting the nudges that she needs to go and find her potential. Something new, go in a new direction, you know, Um so she's getting that inner nudge, you know, it's time to go, go look for what it is that you're seeking. Dude, if you want Tom, go get Tom. If you're like F Tom, then F Tom. If you want to go start a new career, do it. Realize who you are. Don't let life dead you down in spirit know who you are Giselle is just your name like I said she's the courage to get back at it that get back going the worst is over so like yay now let me just do her tea cards and then we're done and uh um we'll do the the um Stay tuned for this. But what we have here is, let me, can we get to the T cards? Oh, here they are. Here we go. All right. There's a harsh blow. And this could be like work related okay could be an endings and separation as far as the job it could also be you know the end of the marriage and separation and legalities but there's a harsh blow there and that acts also dealing with separations and formalities you know get in the acts could be a lawyer, maybe something's finalized. Uh, it, maybe all of this is just things that she's going to be experiencing throughout 2023, throughout the process of finding her footing and being alive without being married, <laughs> you know? Um, because she's really doing a deep dive into her emotions. She has the mermaid and the eye. So intuitively, she knows that she's go she has to dive deep within herself in her emotions and remove this mask, right? 
and she's going to because she's getting the courage she's gaining the courage um because she's changing her mind about retirement so how long has Giselle been retired? I mean, what avenue do you think that she'll go? I'm curious because I don't, I don't know. I just know that she was a beautiful model who married a football player. It kind of sounds like high school, you know? <laughs> I don't know. So she could also be feeling very sultry and like a temptress throughout 2023. Um, very, I don't know, it's really sultry type of energy, just seductress. I feel like Giselle is going to intuitively move her like physical body. And you may hear her like talk about this, like some form of I don't know, intuitive dance or trance dance or something, some something, you know, that she, the way that in which she moves her body, it's going to be important. Um, an intake of water, there could be some form of dehydration may be necessary, but there's also like cleansing, healing energy when you ever you're dealing with water. This is a mermaid is like Yamaya, which is representative of the ocean being the mother. So are we diving deep into ourselves? Are you intuitive? There's something here. I don't know. Intuitively. I don't know what she's doing. The way in which she's moving. I'm like, is it, is the movement like a SEX type of movement that would produce this? That's what I'm thinking. I'm not sure though, but intuitively she knows what to do. She's seeing things. Is Giselle spiritual? She may actually. Um, whatever, third eye stuff. I'm not even going to go there, but it's, I don't know the girl at all. Whatever it is, she's, she's very much um, excited about a new beginning here with welcoming the new, new everything, even new old, which is weird. But she's good with it. That's what's good. So stay tuned for her conspiracy of I ruined their lives. And her self-value is her gift and grace. The celestial speed up. So all of her lessons this year are going to be learned like that. It's not anything that would have taken her years to learn. As she's learning um, quickly. And it all... The gift is that you you taking care of you. Self, we have self value. We have self care. We you know you have support and friends and everything else. So let's get into it. If you've made it this far, please consider to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Giselle's card, her conspiracy is. The I Ruined Their Lives Conspiracy. So I'm going to read this from the book. You may like to listen to this for yourself. There's vital information in here for everyone. The I Ruined Their Life Conspiracy is the mistaken belief that you have ruined someone else's life. But only they can do that. This conspiracy is often tied together with the conspiracies such as heartbreak, feeling unwanted, failure, and sacrifice, all of which led to the experience of constellation of shattered dreams. If we experience this, it is usually because we have been born with a world-shifting purpose and our ego wants to bury us under a mountain of pain. As we dig ourselves out from under this conspiracy, 
we usually begin to acknowledge an inner fear that we held one or both of our parents' lives back by our birth. They may even have told us as much. Actually, it was their great fear of going forward that held them back. You were just someone they used as a scapegoat for this. Typically, we will have inherited this fear of moving forward and it will stop new chapters in our lives. Yet underneath all the pain, feelings of failure and guilt, we still have a soul level gift that can free that parent or parents from this fear. Whatever it is, it is a major gift of empowerment. We were not the problem. We were the solution. We still can pass the energy of the soul level gift to them, even if they have passed on. We can still complete this promise, healing the karma and freeing us from them. If you receive this card, you have something of great importance to heal, as your purpose may well be a pivotal one for the evolution of consciousness. Your heartbreak, guilt, failure, and self-attack conspiracies in your constellation of shattered dreams is merely the ego's way of keeping you crippled. The ego is fond of making you think that you are the problem, when in truth, you have brought the solution. Your greatness can inspire others out of their hiding. If your parents seem to blame you, they only did so because they did not want to blame themselves for, falling, for failing to follow their dreams and their calling. You can free them now. It is what you came to do. Simply intuit which soul level gifts are hiding behind each of your conspiracies. Open the door of your mind to embrace these gifts. When you are full of these gifts, pass them energetically to the person whose life your ego has convinced you that you have ruined. This will generate a high level flow for both of you. It will also remind you that these are the gifts for giving. They are the key gifts for your purpose. You can now experience your whole, your worthiness and how deserving you are of all good things. Self-value is what will combat the conspiracy and we have celestial speed up. And I'm going to get into those as well. Just give me one moment. Her gift card is self-value. Receiving this card, if you receive this card, then it's important to realize how much value you have. This was bestowed on you when you were created and it cannot be changed. You can only think that your value has changed. The alternative to realizing your self-value is self-attack, self-hatred, guilt, and failure. Self-value is the chief dynamic of all good fortune. Someone who has self-value is not obsessively self-involved or selfish. They realize that joy comes from sharing and that ecstasy comes only from giving yourself so profoundly that you expand beyond your boundaries and fly. Self-value gives you the foundation to do just that. With self-value, there is no useless or frivolous activity. With self-value, you do not prostitute yourself in any way. You allow yourself to receive and you share more. You receive peaceful and you remain peaceful and centered. You are funny and happy. You extend yourself in love because you love yourself. When you recognize your own great value, you recognize who you are. 
You help others to recognize their value. You are on an evolutionary cycle back to the level of self-value at which you were created. This card signifies a leap forward and shows the way through. When you have fully realized this level, you will be enlightened. And I'll get into her celestial speed up. This is a grace card. And when I'm just when you receive this card, be aware that the celestial speed up is occurring. Your acceptance and awareness of it will bless its effects in your life. The celestial speed up is the very opposite of a conspiracy which is meant to slow you down or stop you altogether. The celestial speed up accelerates change and healing. What would have taken months, years, or even a lifetime to learn can now be done in a relatively short time. Your quickening helps everyone else. As you become free and shine your light, the darkness fades quickly away. If you let yourself be blinded by your fear, you will miss your auspicious chance presented by the increasing velocity of change. The ego hold is lessening, along with the mistaken choices that lead to attachment, illusion, and suffering. There is reason to hope where, you be, where before there was despair. There is reason to be grateful and celebrate because the slowdown of the ego has become celebrity of the higher mind. You are blessed. Receive it. Happy opportunities present themselves for blessed change as more of what has been stopping you is revealed. So more will be revealed for Giselle and um, what a great thing that like she's in the speed up process, the learning, whatever lessons will be learned in 2023 are going to be speedy. She's not going to have to like a hard knock thing, whatever it is that she needs to learn this year. Um, she's giving the gift of self value. So I would say that she's learning her worth. She will be shining her light and destroying this conspiracy i don't know if this is attached to her her family dynamic or her relationship dynamic um only she could answer that personally so let's get into her reading 